the bystanders, the crowd. You're the ones who see bullying, you're the ones who hear bullying. Look, bullies may do mean things, but they're not going to do that. Are they going to bully in front of the teachers? Probably not. Are they going to bully in front of the DC? Probably not. All right? They bully in less structured environments. They bully in less structured spaces. Going to school, coming back from school, on that far corner of the recess field, you know, the back seat of the bus, wherever there are not too many adults, you're the ones who see and hear bullying. There are ways for you to stop the bullying. I'm going to go through some ideas. I'm going to go through some choices. Some of these ideas you might like, some of these ideas you might not like. You know when you go to a restaurant, you know how when you go to a restaurant they give you a menu? And you know, you get to pick and choose whatever food it is that you like off the menu. You pick what you like and you leave the others behind. Think of this as a menu choice. Some of the ideas to stop the bullying you're going to like, use them. Some of them you're not going to like. Leave those ones behind. And the first one, the first one is a rather easy <coughs> one. The first one is don't join in, remove yourself. You know, look, if you see bullying, if you hear bullying, you know, uh, don't join in, remove yourself. You remember when you were younger, like in middle school or in elementary school, and there'd be somebody fooling around over there, and you were like, well, I'm bored, I think I'll go and watch the show. And you'd go over and you'd watch when the other kids were fooling around, and then like the principal or the teacher would come over, all you kids are in trouble, all you kids come to my office. And you'd be like, what? I didn't even do anything. It's not my fault. And they're like, well, you were there, so you're in trouble. And you got in trouble even though you didn't do something wrong. Anybody remember that from when you were younger? Yeah. Maybe even, I'm not that happy to go out. Yeah, look, if you were nearby when bullying is going on, you might get in trouble even though you weren't part of it. Get away from it, don't be nearby. Bullies take you being around and watching the bullying as permission. It's like, hey, you were watching the show, I guess you must have liked it. So don't join in, remove yourself, get yourself out of there. Somebody sends you a mean text message, don't forward it on, you know. Just don't, don't join in, remove yourself. Other ideas, sometimes we know the bullies. Sometimes we like the bullies. The bullies are friends of ours. I'm not joking here. We really like the bullies. I like the bullies, I just don't like their bullying behavior. You can tell the bullies to stop. You can tell them, knock it off. Don't do that. No more. Stop it. I don't like it. Not on this bus. Not here. You know, what are you thinking? You know, dude, come on, knock it off. Whatever the words are, you're going to pick the words and tell them to stop. If you're scared, sometimes we know the bullies and we're scared of the bullies. If you're scared of the bullies, if they're like, maybe they're going to attack me, don't join in. If you're like, I'm not scared of the bullies, they're not going to attack me, you know, tell the bullies to stop. If they're like little kid bullies, like maybe it's a fifth grader bullying like a third grader, it's like, I'm not worried about a fifth grader, a fifth grader's not going to hurt me. You know, I could go over and tell a fifth grader to stop. You know, what's a fifth grader going to do for that stuff? <coughs> what are you going to do? Fight John the Angels? You know, you're, you're fine. <laughs> Alright, other ideas. Separate the bullies away from the person being bullied. Like I said, sometimes I know the bullies. I like the bullies. I like the bullies. I just don't like their bullying behavior. You can separate the bullies away from the person being bullied. Get them out of there. Get them away. You know, come up with an excuse. Come up with a reason. Come on. You know, hey, we're playing basketball. Come on, we need a fourth. Come on, join us over here. You know. I don't know. You know, hey, hey, listen, we're going out to get something at, 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 at the restaurant. Come on, join us. Come on, we're going, we're going out. You come up with a reason to get the bully down there. I like the bully. Just don't like their bullying behavior. Get the bully down there. This one is similar but different. This is separate the person being bullied away from the bullies. I remember one time, this is a long time ago, I was in seventh grade, I was in seventh grade and I was walking home from my middle school. My middle school was different than your guys here. My, we had like a separate elementary school, then we had six, seven, and eight for middle school, and then we had nine, ten, eleven, twelve for high school. I was seventh grade, I'm walking home from school by myself, I was all alone, and all of a sudden I got surrounded <coughs> by a group of ninth graders. And there were a lot of them. I knew these ninth graders. I'd seen them around, but from the neighborhood, I'd seen them around. I, I was not friends with them, but I'd seen them. All of a sudden, I'm surrounded by this group of ninth graders, and there's a lot of them. There's like seven or eight of them. And there I am. I'm in seventh grade, and they're making fun of me. They're making fun of my hair. They're making fun of my clothes. They're making fun of my mother. And you know what I did about it? You don't have to You know what I did about it? I did nothing. I did nothing. I was frozen. I was like, 
<laughs> you know, I was frozen. I, was, I couldn't do anything. I, you know, I didn't know what to do. Was I supposed to cry? You know, was I supposed to run away? Was I supposed to punch them in the nose? You know, I didn't know what to do. You know, punch them in the nose. I couldn't move. I was like frozen. I, I didn't know what to do. I was just frozen. I just stood there. I was lucky, luckily a group of like 11th graders were walking by, I guess they saw me and I guess they saw that I was kind of frozen, it kind of got me out of there. Sometimes people freeze when they're being bullied. They don't know what to do. You actually got to get the person out, out of there. Separate the person being bullied away from the bully. This last one, I think sometimes it's the hardest one, and then I'm going to move on. I'm talking too much. Report to a trusted adult. A uh, key word here is trusted adult. Not all adults are the same. Have you noticed that? You know, you've noticed that, right? That in this building there are some cooler adults and some not so cool adults. You want to go to the cooler adult, the adult who you trust, the adult who you actually think will listen to you. Look, I know all adults are not the same. Go to the ones that you trust will actually help you. That could actually be their. Job. 